Karibu sana. Okay, we are walking with Ezekiel and Mambuleo followed by Tadeo. Good morning, Tadeo. Good morning to you, sir. How are you? How about you, sir? Good morning, sir. I'm going to go to the hospital. Okay, Mambuleo okay. and Ezekiel are going to show us the wow factors of our camp passing Mohammed Habari Sasuboy. Mzuri sana. We are now on the top swimming pool of Matimwe Lodge and Ezekiel. Say this, as you can see, this is one of, our, of the best well factor. That's looking at the Nemba Toll, 12 activities taking place. Yeah, the sun is very sharp this morning, but there you can see Nemba Island and the atoll at the moment swallowed by our high tide. So, um, Ezekiel, what you say is uh, the location here is the wow factor number one. Yeah, for us, this is the wow, wow factor number one. And Mambuleo, what do you say is the wow factor number two? The stuff, the stuff is the wow factor. It is uh, when we have got the warm welcoming and the dedicating to what they are providing and the service we offer to the guests. Okay, so the location and our staff. And I'm just making a quick round over the bar area and the pools, the reception area and the way to the restaurant. But we will see more. Okay, this is the view to the east and the south from the restaurant and overlooking a part of our nice pastries and the breakfast buffet. Ezekiel, yes, what would you say is also a wow factor? One of these is, uh, this is kind of the food that we're offering, special for breakfast, and here is some. Very nice. Mambuleo, what would you say? Yeah, on uh, the freshest and the fine ingredients we use on our all of the food makes Matemo to offer and provide the highest food quality, what I can say, that's one of the factors to make Matemu wow. Safi, and do you produce all this uh, wonderful food here yeah, that's yourself or is this bought convenient food from quality meat market supplies? No, this is all our homemade and we make sure that uh, as you can see the finest best, I can say the best in the island. I'm convinced and fresh fruit I find here, Barungi and Passion and of course a selection to also please some cheese lovers and even some cold cuts and some fresh yogurt. I think the attention to detail really is obvious. Some fresh fruit juices and with Marco in the background greeting everyone at the offsite. <laughs> How are you? Okay, here we are on the main beach lying south of the lodge you can see the spectacular setting here uh, the white fine sands like flower in fact not really like sand this is coral sand and there we see Kidawa putting out the mattresses getting ready for a day full of action with our with our kayaks our snorkeling activities, reef walk, but still we would like to find out uh, what really pleases um, your guests the most, Ezekiel, what, is, what would you say and why? Yeah, I would like to say that um, one thing that pleases most of our guests is uh, the service offering to the, the lodge, especially to our guests, with a lot of um, committed uh, uh, staff at the moment, dedicated very well educated and ready to go exercise. 
And do you feel that uh, we as a management team and you as a manager have been successfully setting an example and also a, a place where you really want to be, where you want to work and where you can really also invest your passion within your workplace? Yes, I can say yes. And I'm confident to say that because at the moment you can see that we have many staff who are now committed to work and not like before everyone was trying to leave or was in exit mode. Now we, are, we have managed to have the passion staff and uh, they are really ready to work with us and stay for many years as well. Mambuleo, what would you say pleases the guests the most and why? Yeah, that's... Uh the setup itself and the all fine tuning which we did for our lodge that's the one which it can say it make the most of it and then as you can see everything now it's coming look it's, uh, very nice and being taken care of. Yeah. that's the thing which can make them so do you think um, that the attention to detail is at all important Yes, uh, you have to attend, and attention to detail is the things which can make everything go faster, and then you can see, like, uh, what uh, people are doing and uh, more dedicated to it, so that to attend, that attention to detail is most important for it. Ezekiel, now um, we covered a bit of the lodge, and um, the wow factors but now uh, you as one of the main members of the senior management team what would you say pleases you the most uh, first thing that pleases me the most is uh, the staff we have and also the, the the environment itself we have a very good environment is what now we can see the final touch-ups of the project which is also and also the the way uh, uh, matemo is growing that also makes me feel the best. Mamboleo, what would you say? Yeah, to get the opportunity of uh, learning more, uh, that's uh, the people like what I can say that I have this opportunity and now I'm learning more through Matemo and Asilias group. So this is make me the most of that. Uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with that, with having this chance and opportunity. Yeah, thank you very much, Mamboulio. Okay, Mamboulio, what would you say annoys the guests the most? Yeah, the seaweed is the one which annoys our guests most because when the, now the time when seaweed comes here, it looks like what we haven't seen and the low tide where there's no possible for the guests to go for swimming. Those are the two main factors which can annoy our guests most. Ezekiel, what would you say, what annoys the guests the most? Uh, for me, what I can say, which annoys the guests, the guests the most is uh, also the slow moving of the staff. Sometimes we have the staff that they are really moving very slow. That also makes uh, our job being uh, very difficult. And Ezekiel, have you seen a bit of a difference lately of uh, staff understanding their responsibility to have a very good service level and a constant service level of swift service supply yeah do you see an increase there a, in an improvement yeah I, I can see that there is an, impro an improvement for that and also i'm confident that we can manage to make it this is indeed very interesting we have um, as a management and a eco drive a lot of um, attention also we implement a lot of attention um, in regard to sorting our rubbish and we also build the different compartments and we have colored bins and it's really yeah extremely frustrating and annoying what happens here Mamboleo yeah because uh, as we try to move forward and to make sure that you know eco side we play a big role on it but still, there's, you have to come, you have to see yourself that this has been happening. So this is one of the most of things which are annoyed. Yeah, especially if we find one of our cutlery pieces in the, in the taka taka, uh, that is really a disaster. So, 
yes, we still have a long way um, to reach high levels also on our environmental friendliness, safeguarding our assets and also making sure that we set an example here on Zanzibar. So here we are in the finance office. Good morning, Eric. Good morning, please. Eric, our assistant and cashier in the finance department, Godwin. Yes, a boy. Okay, where is Ezekiel? What are you doing behind your desk, Ezekiel? Uh, just doing the admin jobs as well after the operation hours. Yeah, does this annoy you or is this your favorite job? Uh, in fact, I like my job. And I guess, uh, really I like my job. But the thing is, working with the admin, especially sometimes you need to work in the, you need to work in hours, and also more, most also long hours, um, like uh, even sometimes in the midnight. So, do you feel that the volume of the administration part of your job is out of balance? Yes, really it is. And Ezekiel, do you feel that it's difficult for you as a member of the management team to also um, really implement uh, the necessary training and also attention to detail with your staff and the team to really create a magical experience for our guests? Yeah, it's, uh, yes, it's, it's really, really, very difficult because uh, uh, we, we have like a mat, you know, mat task now. You need to work with once, and sometimes also in the in the operation, making sure that everything is going very smoothly. Especially with the staff, we need to staff to, to work on on, on, on uh, more dedicated jobs, but also uh, on fine details as well. But still, after that, we have to come back in the office and also start doing the admin jobs, which is uh, something that that's uh, annoying as well. Yeah. Well. Good luck with all the admin work, Ezekiel. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so this is the back of house management office, HR, and I would say currently still a lot of fire brigading. Uh, Mamboleo is um, taking care of um, also a wide range of back of house uh, departments. What annoys you the most, Mamboleo? Uh, it's, uh, this uh, place uh, mostly with the decoration and the decoration which makes uh, things, you can buy thing, one thing that uh, only six months is already corrected. And, uh, that's For the example, you can see it. Our light fitting the that light fitting. after one season yeah. is in fact falling apart. I think in other areas a light fitting like this you buy and it keeps for five years without a problem, you just repaint it. But here we have the problem that it really is corroded to such an extent that it's beyond repair and we have to replace it. And also, um, Mambolio, do you have problems in fact maintaining generally the assets, the buildings, the equipment? Yeah, you, we have to, yeah, in the buildings and have to make sure that we really do a good maintenance and not only repairing but we have to maintain good but the repair should be taken place and then this is one of the top again you can see how this need a lot a lot of attention yeah, yes. and I see out there in our little uh, maintenance workshop um, what is the problem with that uh, the dehumidifier which we need so urgently in that fridge Still, this uh, actually power fluctuation, I can say this in this uh, area as well. It's a big disaster that you can see those things just blown out. Yes. Thank you, Mamboleo. Karibu sana. <laughs>